Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can clone a React app and then use it and view it in your own browser, change stuff you want. So, because once we clone the app, it's not gonna work by default, so we'll need to do a few more steps to make it work. So, you wanna go to GitHub, if you wanna find a project you wanna clone, you wanna copy this link here, and I'm gonna make a folder here, let's call it GitHub. And I'm using git bash, but you can use command prompt <clears throat> and just cd into this directory you just made or make a directory here. I just wanted to make this as simple as possible. So the first thing you will do is git clone. And then that thing we, we got, we copied. Uh, it didn't copy anything. So let's go back here, copy this again. Let's paste that. So that's gonna get us a project here. So it's React the Gym website. So if I open my VS Code, and I'm gonna navigate to that folder here. So that's inside my downloads, project, and then inside the GitHub. So this is the, the project folder. So I wanna open that. So this is, you can just start the folder. You can just do a like npm start here. If we did that, as you can see, we have a lot of error codes. So I want to remove that first. So the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure to open this specific folder you got. After that, you want to check this package.json files. And let me close this and you want to be, you want to make sure all script tags are here. So start, react, script, start. We have build, test, and eject. So you want to make sure that's there. If it's not, you'll need to add it. So after you check that, you need to uh, delete any node modules you have. Most of the times you're not going to have any, but sometimes you might. So if you have a node modules folder here, delete it completely. And after that, you're gonna either have yarn lock or package lock JSON like I have here. So either yarn lock files or package lock JSON files, you wanna remove all of them completely. So we're just gonna remove this. When that's done, we can open our terminal here and do npm install. So we need to wait for that to install. But like I said, any yarn.lock or package.lock, package.lock.json files is what you need to remove. And also in case you have a node modules, you need to remove those as well. And then as you've seen here, we're gonna do an npm install. That's gonna give us our node modules. And once that's done, we can start a project and see everything. So let's just wait for this to finish. Yeah, this might take some time here, so we'll just wait for that. So as you can see, that's done, and now we can finally start our project with npm start. I'm just gonna go here so it doesn't open up my second screen. And let's see the project. There we go. And then we can see the project we, we just cloned here. So it's not as just going here and cloning the repo. So you need to do a few things that I'll say one more time. So the first thing, you clone the repo. Second thing, you want to open that specific folder that you got. After that, you want to check your package.json files to make sure you have all these script tags. After you've checked that, you want to remove all package-lock.json files or yarn lock files. And also, in case you have this file, which is not modules now, you want to remove that. You don't want to remove it after we do everything, but if you have it once you get the app, you want to remove this folder. And then you will do npm install here to get those node modules and npm start so we can see the project. And that's all you need to do if you want to run your React, if you want to clone and run your React app in the browser and see the overview of it.
And that's gonna be it for this short tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!